Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support that you give me each and every day. And I know I keep telling y'all that, but it's true. It is truly a blessing when you are able to help somebody and they send that love right back to you. And you know, we've been going through these crazy shifts and you know, just sending out love and blessings because we truly need it right now at this time <laughs> so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way also if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you feel like you're comfortable enough go ahead and drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it's heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the videos just gave you good vibes or good information that you know you truly need it and you want to pass it on to somebody else it might be the same go ahead and do so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and even also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you yeah. thank you once again for the positive positive love and the support that you give me as well as my channel and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Y'all, like I said before, I'm going to go ahead and put my daughter's website on my uh, in the description box below um, for her donation for her books. Um, she's really working hard to try to get those donations in. Um, she's trying to publish her book with different poets and artists that, you know, all collaborated together to go ahead and you know show their true talent if you can go ahead and um stop by her channel let her know i mean her channel oh i keep on saying that her website <laughs> and let her know i sent you there and if you can go ahead and donate it'll greatly be appreciated um today my beautiful meditation music that i'm listening to today it's called inner awakening calming meditation to meet higher state of consciousness inner peace and balance and i will post that link in the description box below y'all it's been so peaceful and then it has uh buddha on there y'all know i love buddha um it's just like seeing his uh oh and it's three 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 i don't know if y'all can see that there it goes three 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 um I like seeing him and all of a sudden, it, you know, that's, you know, as soon as I said that, I said 333. So it's sending in some good vibes that, you know, I really appreciate. Um, today, my video is about Twin Flame 101, reflecting, Hayoka's hey, reflecting on what you truly deserve. You know, we can really go through stuff. And sometimes the situations we have been put in, it could have been something that was thrown in our faces towards childhood or you probably went through it during your teen years and some people still go through you know abuse during their adult years too um you know it's, it's just like if you've been in a situation like that for a while you tend to attract that throughout your life and that's a sad thing but it's just like we always got to learn when we go through these situations we all got to learn from them and it's just like you know sometimes even i've done it myself we when we have blessings coming our way and we see things we we tend to like you know back up especially for something that's really good at times um we feel like we're not worthy of those things because we feel like how can a person love me like this or how can somebody be nice to me there's always a motive and there's sometimes it is you know if you've been through something it's hard for you to take those walls down trust me i know um and it's just like so many people tell me oh rosalyn you're so positive i wasn't always positive now i used to I, I was carrying on a lot of hurt and anger. I just chose not to show that off to people because it's just like you go through things, but you know, you put that shield up to let people know you are strong. Yeah, you are strong, but it's just like certain situations has put you in a place where you, you, you doubt the good blessings that are coming in that you truly deserve and you need to be able to reflect on that and a lot of people you know it's sad that they don't feel like they can be by themselves some people like i've told you before will get in relationships just to say they're in a relationship just to feel wanted but you have to be able to love yourself so you can be able to get those same vibes from somebody else that can love you the same you know and i tell people that you are worthy you deserve to be happy you deserve to be loved you, you deserve to be respected even though you might not have gotten that People usually gravitate towards us and reflect towards the things that we need to be able to change about ourselves. 
Um, and it's, it's sad sometimes because it's just like when I look at my situation with my ex, I'm very blessed that I went through those situations. You know, I, I've talked negative, negative about that situation, but I don't feel that anymore. You know, I felt like, okay, you know, we, we all have to come from a place of healing. You know, you have to be able to look at a situation and say, you know what, this is a messed up situation, but what has it taught you? What have you learned from this situation? What has it brought forth towards you? The things that you need to change, the things that you need to pay attention to, the things that you need to focus on. That's how I have to look at my situation. That's how I have to look at it with my family as well. And um, being able to do that, I had to go through that aha moment. And I told y'all that the aha moment from that, from that sun, snow, I said sun, snow full moon i had to go through these cycles i had to go through these cycles for a while because there was a lot of things i was resisting in myself that i didn't want to pay attention to or i wasn't focusing on because i was so busy trying to focus on my union with my twin i wasn't trying to focus on the things that i needed to pay attention to to be able to get to that union so it's like there can't be a union if you're not reflected on the things that you need to change about yourself the things that you know, universe is trying to teach you from the lessons in the situations you've been in. And that was a true blessing because I was just like, God, oh, dog, I feel slow. <laughs> but then it's just like, it's not about you being slow or stupid. It's just the fact is you had to go, you had to really go through it so many times for you to be able to get that gist. Because like I told y'all before, we have gone through a recycle of life constantly, constantly all the time that you need to learn these lessons that you have constantly end up putting yourself through. We have picked situations and placed ourselves in it just for us to be able to learn what we needed to learn. And it's probably harder. This situation is probably harder than the ones you have placed yourself in many times before. But you had to be able to learn from that to say, okay, this is enough is enough. I'm not going through this mess again. I told y'all, this is the year for, and this is the, the, the life that you have placed um, to end the karmatic, karmic cycles the generational curses that we have been placed on for many millenniums, we are fixing that now. And it's just like you have to go through certain situations so many times for you to be able to say, okay, I finally got it. I finally got it. You have to be able to look at it like that because it's just like before, you know, if you've been with me for a while, if there are certain situations I will bring up and you will see I'll tear up in a minute because it was something that was really, I was holding on to it in an emotional way that I shouldn't have. And I can't, if I want to be able to get growth and go on to that next level, I can't go on to that next level, harboring hate, harboring pain, anger, you know, saying I forgive somebody, but still hating them for certain situations. I have to be able to let that go totally, you know, and be paying attention to, okay, this is not happening to you anymore. Even though it has happened, you're not allowing that to affect your future. You, you're worrying about the present time, but you're not going to allow this to affect you anymore. This has happened from, to you, but you have to learn people are human. You, regardless, you know, they might have no hearts. They might have you no know, consciousness on you know they can be able to sleep at night and knowing it was okay to put you in that situation but you have to look at it too obviously for them to do that to you let you know that they didn't care about themselves as well because normal people that care about themselves won't go off and try to hurt other people they don't do that you know and some people get defensive oh i care about myself no you don't if you don't care if you don't care about yourselves you wouldn't go out your way to try to hurt somebody because normal people don't go around hurting people like that you just don't i mean we you know, we put, we get in situations where you're not intending to hurt people. Now that's a difference. When you, when you have that hidden agenda, when you're like, oh, I'm going to get back at you. And I've seen people do that. I've been that way. Now, you know, and I had to grow from that and learn, okay, you know what? You can't go back trying to play tit for tat for somebody because that makes you no better than the person that did to you in the first place. You can't. You just got to pray for folks and knowing to, to break your distance. Like, okay, not allow yourself to be around people that's going to put you down that's not going to see your worth, that's not going to respect you, not going to love you, you know, accept you for flaws and all. No, we all are, nobody's perfect. We all grow and learn from different things, but you have to, re you have to reflect on the things you know you truly deserve in life. Everybody deserves to be happy. Everybody deserves to feel loved, but don't put yourself in a situation where you have to question that or you sacrifice that. That's one thing you shouldn't do. You shouldn't sacrifice your happiness just to make somebody else happy. Because with people like that, they're never going to be happy because they won't be satisfied. They'll be trying to fill a void without filling the void. And that's a lot of things that people do. So you have to be able to know, hey, 
you know, this ain't right. <laughs> you know, if you see a situation is just not going right for you and flowing right. I've had myself in situations like that. Universe will bring people towards my way to say, okay, you really, you ask, you got to be careful what you ask for. You can be praying for this and this and that and you finally get it. But the, the thing that you prayed for, you have to be very specific about the things you pray for. You know, so it's just like when people come into my life, they don't treat me the way they're supposed to, even though I'm showing them the love. But if they can't show me the same love that I'm, you know, I'm trying to reciprocate from them, I got to go. <laughs> I got to go. You can love them from a distance, pray for them, and, you know, hopefully they'll heal from whatever they need to heal from. But, you know, at the end of the day, you can at least say, you know what, I tried. I did this, but they weren't, you know, they weren't trying to meet me halfway. Okay, there ain't no argument about it. You just got to go about your business. But don't hold on no, no hate for them. Don't, you know, karma's going to happen regardless anyway. As long as you know what you were putting out was in good intentions and love, you got to be able to let it go with love as well. You know, you have to do that. So I hope you were able to re um, resonate. I said reciprocate. Resonate <laughs> with this situation. And I hope it was able to give you some kind of confirmation about something that you truly needed to hear. So much love to everyone. Um, gosh, let me see who am I going to give a post notification shout out to today. Because I keep on forgetting about writing the, the new people down. And I apologize for that. Um, SJ. Uh, Worst Nero. And Cynthia, much love to you all. And send out as much love and blessings as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. Drop me a line. I'd love the chance to get your opinion on this, uh, the content of my video. You know, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share wherever you see fit. And like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know I'm about to upload my next video. So, talk to you later. Much love, peace, and be wild.